Where's the money in the app economy? Well, um, I think there is money from advertisers, for one thing, especially if you have a widely distributed app. I think depending upon the genre, gaming for instance, there is, there is a direct-to-consumer revenue stream that's possible there. Um, I think it gets a little murkier as you get into anything for which there is a proliferation of content like media. I think people will pay for utility. I think they'll pay for something that is really that is really unique. But we're in the early days here, and it's hard to make that trade of a potential scale audience that you might sell to advertisers versus a, you know a direct to consumer where everyone's paying you, but it's a, but it's a really limited audience. I think that the money ultimately is going to be in what the industry refers to as a freemium model, where you have an app that gets widely distributed and then you upsell within that app to try to get people to pay. I think the best example of success here is the social games that have grown up, especially on Facebook. Obviously, the device manufacturers, um, Apple, between the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and now the iPad is a big driver in the app economy because it created the App Store and then everybody began to populate the App Store. Following Apple's lead, you now see app stores, you know, you, you know, being created all, all in, you know, you know, for other devices, other carriers all around the world. So I think the equipment manufacturers and carriers are drivers of that. Uh, I do think, though, that individuals are the key drivers because it's now possible. The um, super smartphones, which is how I refer to the, uh, the iPhone and, and some of the high-level uh, Google Android phones, are really, really able to deliver increasingly personalized experience through apps. So I think it's the demand of the users that is beginning to drive this, the app economy. I think it's anybody smart, right? <laughs> you know, you know, meaning that to the extent that you have access to the analytics and you can see what people are buying or not buying, obviously, if you're creating a product, you want to know if anybody's interested in it, are they using it? If you want to advertise on a product, then you want to know which, which are the, uh, are the, uh, are the most used. So the analytics, are, the analytics have a lot of power to them. Um, um, clearly, like when you look at the iTunes Store and you see the most popular free apps, the most popular paid apps, there's a lot of attention paid to that. I think in a world of a quarter of a million apps, it's 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 harder to break through the it's hard it's harder to break through the through through the clutter. Uh, I, I'm I, I'm not sure. Are we going to see you know more sort of um, um, more sort of consolidation of apps the way it's, it appears that that people go to relatively few websites or are you just going to see an explosion of a zillion apps because that's all possible. It's still, still kind of early to tell. Again, it's really, it, it, it's really early, so I'm just pondering based upon a, you know, you know, a, uh, a whole business that's getting started. Apple, highly controlled, everything is viewed, has great controls as a copyright owner, which we are at ESPN and the Walt Disney Company. Google, Android market, there's a lot of energy, it is fast growing, but the, the range of quality, uh, which, which are authentic apps, which are apps that were, that were that are created by different individuals, for which they don't have rights. The, um, th um, those issues are sort of are sort of are sort of yet to be resolved. Um, I think, from ESPN standpoint, we have to be everywhere fans are. So while we have a very strong position today in the iTunes Store, you will also see us in the Android marketplace. You'll see us work with Nokia and Samsung and Sprint and any number of others who who, who will create app stores. Um, it's it's it's. Um, it, it, it's hard to tell how it's all going to all evolve, but I do think the use of standardized APIs, the growth and development of HTML5, I think you'll see some pretty, some pretty consistent uh, trends that will develop. I think it is a big challenge for everybody to do native apps for every single carrier, for every single handset, and there's going to have to be a there, there's going to have to be a sort of like shaking out of that. It, it might well be that um, it might well be that um, that um, you'll have specialists for say Apple or Nokia or Google that 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 will come out. In, in our case, it's appealing to create 
one great concept that could be offered on any phone. So if you like Score Center, for instance, you could get it on any device. That's where we're headed. I think there's an explosion going on today based upon the combination of social media and super smartphones. And the combination of them is causing a revolution in people's behavior, how people consume content. So I think I would start off with, with, with developers who are, who are really getting to the heart of the combination of that. We saw a, we, we saw a demo for Flipboard, which is, a neat, which is a neat application, a sort of social magazine. That's an example of creative idea taking advantage of the confluence of different factors. I think uh, uh, we're just beginning to scratch the surface of the whole check-in phenomena both location-based and just the concept of checking into something that you care about and, and again being able to being able to draw your friends with you but it is the combination of social media and mobile that combination that is particularly powerful and I think if not immediately that's where VCs will look. There are lots of apps I like I mean I I like our Score Center app as just a simple, elegant way to get a score. It's, it's globally localized so that if you were using Score Center in Germany, it would just provide Bundesliga results. So I like that. I like Evernote a lot, which is a uh, which is a note app where you can um, you can put a note in, into your. Um, into your Mac or PC, and then and then simultaneously it is it is updated on, on wherever you're running the Evernote program. I love Shazam. I love the I love the serendipity of hearing a piece of music and then automatically being able to use my device to find it. Um, um, Pandora obviously is a terrific app. Um, I love the. Um, I love the augmented reality uh, use in, say, the Yelp app, uh, where no matter where you are, you can begin to locate different things that are of interest to you. Uh, so I kind of love them all, and 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 the creativity. Uh, you know, again, I think I think just coverage of apps is is an app and an industry unto itself. So.